turns out Americans' views on the stock market are rebounding from a plunge in December. Let's get to Steve Leisman with the brand new results from CNBC's All America survey. Morning, Steve. Good morning, sir. Yeah, 800 Americans polled across the country, all groups, all races, all geographies. What we find is that we did get a bounce back from the plunge in December, but we haven't come all of the way back. Let's take a look at two groups. The first group, all Americans. You can see that 41 percent say yes. Now is a good time to invest in stocks. That is up from our survey in December, but not where we were at the heights of the market in the prior survey. That's two surveys back last fall. Then we talk about the financial elites. These are people with a lot of money in the market and a lot of income. They've come back as well, but not not as optimistic as they were. Looking all the way to the left, though, you can see that we've gotten, we still remain quite a bit where we were before the election back in November 2016. Uh, taking a look at the uh, issue of, look at this, the optimism, it just really tracks the market. It did not track it earlier in 2016, but since then it's come down. You can see that maybe the market has fallen a bit more than optimism would suggest. So either it has further to fall or it's good that Americans have retained that optimism. I want to take a look at two other key indicators in our survey. Expectations for wages. They've held up pretty well. 40% of Americans are expecting an increase in the next 12 months, but not so true for the uh, lowest income group of those making less than 30,000. They've kind of given up on while well, those making more than 100,000, they remain very optimistic about their wages. And then we also have pretty good expectations on home prices, but they've come down again from the high levels of 2017, 2018, 42% expecting an increase. That's just about average. Let's put it all together for you and see what is it overall American economic optimism. You can see it's down from the heights, but ticked up just a little bit. 37% are pessimistic now and for the future, 41% optimistic now and for the future. Sarah? So, Steve, I know some of your earlier reports and some other findings involved some more political sort of yes. questioning, but, but bottom line, what you just shared, is this good news for, for President Trump and seeking re-election? Re I think so, Sarah. Uh, what we've had is um, we've, his uh, economic approval has, again, come down from the top, and it very easily tracks GDP quite well. Um, but it's down to the sort of a, a more stable area. I think the president's big problem is the difference that we find between overall approval on this economic stewardship versus overall job approval. He is negative on overall job approval by nine points, positive by four points on economic approval.